بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمد ونصلي على رسول الكريم أما بعد part of our iman part of our yaqeen is all conditions are from Allah wal qadri khayri wa sharrihi min Allah whatever has been destined whether good or bad is from Allah part of this yaqeen is to believe that Allah is hakim he is most wise and that's why when a loss occurs we say inna lillahi i belong to Allah and i'm happy on the decision of Allah upon me whatever Allah has decided for me is good and inna lillahi this is from Allah wa inna ilayhi rajiun i'm going to Allah so Allah who is Hakim, who is the wise, knows why he has put me in the situation. Like a doctor who gives a patient medication. A patient sometimes doesn't know illness, sometimes he knows his illness. But when the doctor gives him medication, he's happy to take that medication because he believes the medication the doctor is giving me is for my own benefit. Like that we have to have yaqeen that this condition, this situation, this difficulty, this hardship. Allah who is Hakim, He is most wise and He knows the reason why He has put me in this condition. Somebody has been operated on and He's told the doctor, the surgeon is going to cut you up. He's going to slice your rib cage. But that person still goes ahead with the operation. Why? Because he knows the doctor, the doctor is here to make me, not to break me. That's the difference. Mawlana Shaitan used to say that when conditions come on the Ummah, either through that condition, people will get close to Allah or they will get further away from Allah. It will be a means for them to increase their amal, increase their ta'aluq with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or it will be a means for them to become renegades and go against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the surgeon is cutting me to make me, not to kill me, not to destroy me, not to harm me. When an ordinary animal like a dog knows when the master hits him, he doesn't attack the stick nor the master. وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمْ This Ad insan, this human being, Allah has given him intelligence. Can he realize that all conditions are from Allah? That's the question. A shepherd who is looking after a sheep has a dog and the sheep need to stay together. If one sheep decides it wants to go on its own, then the shepherd has a dog. And if the sheep doesn't heal to his cries, he releases the dog onto the sheep. The sheep thinks that it's going to freedom and now it won't be under the shepherd. It doesn't have to follow the rules. It will be not under anyone. And now I'm going home free. Little does the sheep realize that his freedom is his destruction. Because a few meters away there's wolves to devour him. In the interest of the sheep, the shepherd sends the dog. And the dog makes like it. He is attacking the sheep. And even nudges on his feet, but he doesn't bite him. He doesn't injure him. He doesn't harm him. He just gives him that pinch, that nudge, that jerk, so he can realize he's going in the right di wrong direction, he needs to go into the right direction. Like that also, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends conditions for the believer, which talk Allah sends, which time, that's in the ilm of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to learn to hand over our matters to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Umar Rajan say, Ma ubali ala ayyi halin asbahtu. To me, it doesn't make a difference in the morning which condition I wake up in. 
على ما أحب أو على ما أكره. Whether I like the situation, I mean, or I dislike it, it doesn't make a difference to me. لأني لا أدري الخير فيما أحب أو فيما أكره. Because I don't know what I love or I dislike. What I think so, which situation is good for me or bad for me, whether it is good or not, I don't know. So to me, it doesn't make a difference which condition I'm in. For me, it is important that I be happy with the decision of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Speaking about Abu Umar radiallahu anhu, there was a, a person who used to come to Umar radiallahu anhu when he had needs. So somebody told him, Ya hada hajarta ila Umar. You going all the time to Umar? Idhab fata'allam. Go and learn the Quran. Fa innahu sayuhanika an baabi Umar. Because this will make you independent of going to the door of Umar. So Azza Marina didn't see him for a few days, so he searched for him. And he found him making ibadah. So he asked him, فَمَا الَّذِي شَغَلَكَ عَنِّي? I haven't seen you for a few days, where have you been? So he replied, he said, إِنِّي قَرَأْتُ الْقُرْآنَ فَغْنَانِي أَنْ عَمَرُ I started reciting the Qur'an that has made me free and independent of Umar and the family of Umar. وَقَالَ عُمَر So Umar was impressed at his reply. So he said, رَحِمَكَ اللَّهِ فَمَا الَّذِي وَجَدْتَ فِيهِ So what did you find in the Qur'an? So he said, وَفِي السَّمَاءِ رِسْقُكُمْ وَمَا تُوْعَدُونَ this ayat of the Qur'an where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the heavens is your risk and what Allah has promised you will come to you. وَمَا مِن دَابَةٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ إِلَّا عَلَى اللَّهِ رِزْقُهَا Your risk has been stipulated. So this person replied, after reading this ayat I told myself رِزْقِي فِي السَّمَا وَأَنَ أَتْلُبُهُ فِي الْأَرْضِ My risk is in the heavens and I'm searching for it on the earth. فَبَكَى عُمَرْ فَقَالَ سَدَقْتَهُ Umar رضي الله عنه went in tears and he said what you are saying is the truth. What you are saying is the truth. So this trust, this belief, this yaqeen in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى الْحَيِّ الَّذِي لَا يَمُوتِ They have trust in that being. Such a being that does not end, his benefits does not end, his supremacy and reign and rule does not end. Mufassirin have explained, مَا يَنْبَغِي لِلْعَبْدْ بَعْدَ هَذِي الْآيَةِ أَيْ يَلْجَأْ إِلَىٰ أَهَدٍ It is not appropriate that a person after reading this ayah turns to anybody else other than Allah. If a person listens to this ayah or reads this ayah, it is not appropriate for him to turn to anybody else besides Allah. وَمَنْ يَتَوَكَّلَ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَهُوَ حَزْبُهُ Whoever has trust in Allah, Allah is sufficient for him. The Muhadithin have explained, commentators, what is this trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? رُعْيَةُ الْإِيَانِ بِقُوَّةِ الْإِيمَانِ لَا بِالْحُجَّةِ وَالْبَيَانِ That's something to manifest itself such that you see it, you are an eyewitness with the strength of Iman. The eyes of the heart see the reality. لَا بِالْحُجَّةِ Not by proofs, by situations, by signs, by lecturers, by professors. وَالْبَيَانِ What the world and the propaganda is saying, don't follow that. Ada Mushayef said, مَتَى رَضِيْتَ بِاللَّهِ وَكِيلًا وَجَدْتَ إِلَىٰ كُلِّ خَيْرٍ سَبِيلًا When you are happy with Allah to be your wakil, your guardian, then you have found the road 
the treasure to all goodness. Ibrahim bin Adam, rahmatullah alayhi, pious saint, was in the company of somebody pious and he said, Min ayin ta'kul. So that person's situation was such that he was inquiring, where, where do you get your food? What, what's your job? What's your occupation? So the person replied, Laysa hadha al-ilm indi. I have no knowledge about the serious question. What a grave question you're asking me. Walakin sal rabbi min ayna yuth'imuni. If you really have to know what's my job and how do I eat, then you rather ask my Allah that where is Allah feeding me from? Where is Allah feeding me from? لو أنكم تتوكلون على الله حتى توكله لا رزقكم كما يرزق الطير. If you had trust in Allah, how you should have had trust in Allah سبحانه وتعالى. He would have given you risk like how the birds get their risk. تغدو خماسا وتروه بطانا. They live in the morning with an empty stomach. Well, I might have mentioned different and in detail the explanation of this hadith and the qualities of birds. And they return with a full stomach. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq of having this conviction, this yaqeen, this tawakkul.